Last week I finished up the video by the coast after a bit of a rough day. Luckily the next day I was off to visit one of my cousins and his family near Bordeaux. They took me out for a wee wander around Bordeaux and I was very relieved to see a little of it without the stress of having to drive into the city. So it goes up on these things? Yes. Yeah, That's it goes nice. very high. But, but you know when, when uh, a boat like this uh, is in the river, mm. it's like a, a ten level building, you know? It's it's huge. It's It's higher than this, you know? better than that. I spent a few days hanging out at their place, sifting through video footage after taking so much the week before, and enjoying the company. Plus they have an amazing garden with some really gorgeous trees. I was just walking past this tree, headed to that one. I was going to say hi to that one, and then this one kind of called me over, and then I turned around and I spotted this. How cool. Oh, I want to move. Apparently these bugs are often called the gendarme by locals, as red and black were the original gendarme uniform colours when they were soldiers and part of the army. I love it, I love it, I want to touch it. <laughs> After the beautiful, and as I was told, unusually warm weather the week before, the weather turned when I left the Bordeaux area and became decidedly more what I'm used to for the time of the year. I headed back out to the coast towards Cap Ferret. Bassin d'Arcochon is a lovely area and I felt quite at home with the beach and trees combo. Chatting to my mother afterwards, I discovered the camping summer holidays I remembered from when I was little were in this area, which is why I have this awesome image of France having lots of big pine trees just before the beach. It's funny what sticks from childhood. This one, I'm like that. And now I'm here. And I'm gonna head along there tomorrow. This is a little bit exciting and I'm not gonna think too much about the money I just spent because I've been in France over a month and I haven't bought any food out unless you count donuts <laughs> and pizza slices from Lidl. And wow, that looks kind of impressive. Uh, there's no way I'm eating the whole of this tonight, so I guess that makes it a bit more worthwhile because I'll have some tomorrow. That is an obscene amount of mozzarella. If I eat all of that tonight, my stomach won't be happy. <laughs> uh, but I'm quite, I'm, I'm kind of, I just needed this today. Just needed not to deal with food and for food to be in front of me.
So it is currently hailing. Um, I'm hiding under here, so I don't know if you can see. But it is little balls of ice. It's been relatively warm the last few weeks, so this is a bit of a shock. It is so typical, the one time I was actually going to go somewhere, which is open today, it's Friday, that's Wednesday to Sunday, and it's after two, but they've closed it because of the weather. Great. Looks kind of cool in there though. Next time, I guess? I'm hiding under the trees a little bit from the weather. It's like I've got, oh, the lighthouse looks cool from here. It's a bit like I'd forgotten what rain was. Uh, <laughs> it's been relatively dry for a while, other than the occasional very light shower. And I'm quite soggy because I don't have a jacket on. I don't think I'd get caught out like this in Scotland because I just wear my waterproofs all the time or well, at least have them with me because I'm always expecting the rain. But yeah, I should have paid more attention to the weather. I just went for a stroll and thought it'd be fine. Now I'm a little bit soggy and the lighthouse I wanted to see is closed. So I'm walking around the outside of it, which does look really cool. I mean, it's hiding behind the trees. <laughs> so, yeah, that tree is covering it. I'm not used to a lighthouse surrounded by trees. It's very bizarre. Uh, yeah, it looks cool, but I'm just heading back to the van and then I don't know, don't know yet where I'm going tonight. I need to go find a spot and yeah, maybe just chill for the afternoon. I must have just got too used to it being warm because seven degrees feels chilly and I am now quite soggy. The sun was back out, but it is insanely windy. The dune here is a fragile dune, so you can't walk straight onto it, um, which didn't seem to stop a few guys running around on it. Um, but yeah, the, the sea looks amazing, but I think I'm gonna have some very shaky footage because the wind was so strong, I couldn't hold anything still. This time I seem to have made it back to the van just as the weather's turned again. I think I'm going to get out of this area and start heading back around. Uh, the weather is due to be kind of like this for the next few days and you know the rain is fine, intermittent rain, not a huge big deal but it's also insanely windy. Uh, most of the places in this area to park seem to be under really tall pine trees which makes me just a little bit nervous at night that something might fall on me. I mean even just a pine cone from up there yeah, and it's, it, I mean, for starters, it would sound horrendous, but it could also probably dent my roof. There's a chance it's going to be too windy to go climb the sand dune I want to climb, which is the highest in Europe, or biggest in Europe, one or the other. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to maybe just swing by there on my way past, and then I want to head south, because I'm really in need of some mountains, and I'd like to spend a couple of weeks in the Pyrenees uh, before I have to start heading north again, because... I took a long time to get south, and if I don't head north a little bit faster, then I might outstay my welcome in France. <laughs> Look at this, there's like a little library and an area to sit. <laughs> this is really cool, it's just like... Yeah, there's a stream. I like that. <laughs> That's really cool. There's lots of like little book collections. Oh look, there's an English dictionary. There's a little book collections around France, but I um, haven't seen one quite like this. I'm like, how good are the seats? I could sit. It's not that warm, but I could sit undercover and upright. <laughs> I can sit upright in the van, but you know what I mean. Like, with lots of headroom. From Arkash and I decided to head south. I'd enjoyed all the time along the coast, but I was really missing mountains. I lived by the sea in Plymouth for over a decade, and I always thought I'd miss it when I moved to Glasgow. But I've realised recently that as much as I love the ocean and wave watching, I can manage without it if I have mountains. And in the mountains there's always running water rivers and waterfalls, streams and water stumbles, and they give me the moving water fix I seem to need.
I thought I would have a little explore of Biarritz, but by the time I got down there, I decided I wasn't in the mood for any city roaming. And after a wee wander around a lake near where I was parked, and a very short stroll in some insane wind on the beach, I headed into the hills. Driving around France, it's quite interesting how the style of the buildings changes as you go from area to area, and it's particularly evident when you head into Le Pays Basque. I know it was a cute little village near Spain, and even with the grey sky and intermittent rain, the buildings were beautiful and I enjoyed a wee wander. I ducked into this church to hide from a really heavy downpour and discovered you could walk part way up the tower. It's kind of cool. It has been raining for, <laughs> it feels like days. It feels like Scotland. <laughs> I did not come to France for it to feel like Scotland. No offence, Scotland, but uh, too much rain. The last three nights have been like heavy rain all night. And oh, I just started making this because I thought that for a moment it might have actually stopped raining, but apparently it started again. I just need quiet. I found a quiet place for this afternoon and hopefully this evening. I just need it to not rain because I really need to like sleep sleep not keep waking up because of the rain and I'm always a little bit stressed when it's raining that heavily that something's going to leak and as of the last time I checked yesterday afternoon well, the bit at the back of the doors where it usually leaks hasn't leaked yet but uh, I haven't checked yet today because um <laughs> Because it hasn't stopped raining for long enough for me to check. I'm hoping it will later on. Um, otherwise my back doors get kind of wet. But I just, I really, really need quiet. It's quiet rain at the moment. That's something, I guess. I want silence. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? I want proper quiet. If I end up with a tiny house one day, I'm going to make sure the roof is so well insulated that it's not a tinny night when it rains heavily and then I could just enjoy the rain maybe. Finally after days of rain and oh, <laughs> cloudy sky there is sunlight and blue sky. Coming up next time I find my way into the mountains to play in the snow.